It has been a while, but Little Woman 21 here to give you another vlog. And yes, there is Diablo 3 sounds in in the background because my boyfriend is a Diablo 3 guy. Yes. So, yes. <laughs> so yeah, speaking of that that goes into what I'm going to talk about today, which is status. Status going through from even elementary school, all the way up to where I am now, college. But yeah. So, I'd like to start off with elementary school. And, you know, it's just weird or cool, pretty much, is the issue here. If you're weird, you pretty much don't have friends. Or you get weird friends. And if you're cool, well, you, you have cool friends. Air quotes. It's pretty much just like weird versus cool, girls versus boys. Ew, yuck, mud, pink, all that good stuff. Because, um, yeah, all the girls were pretty, are pretty much into, like, little fashion things or little crushes on the boys. And then all the boys are into sports. Ooh, manliness, sure. Trying to prove their own little masculinity in their own way <laughs> through either kickball, football, or just fighting. <laughs> and I was pretty much in between because the girls at my elementary school pretty much would only talk about clothes and I also hated wearing skirts or dresses at that time. So I was a chick that wanted to do boy things in a hierarchy that didn't really allow wiggle room for that. So, that was a little predicament right there. But, you know, whatever. Life goes on. Middle school? Now, status is definitely, like, starting to be important because you're coming into your own. They have clubs now, and, like, you get into more centralized groups of friends instead of just the generalized girls versus boys, and then you have all the weirds. Which seems like those are more scragglers than anything, but whatever. And so, you get into more centralized groups with, like, interests and, like, intelligence. You know, sometimes they have advanced classes, and so the people in those advanced classes tend to stick together. And it also goes on athletic talent, trends, stuff like that, which this starts to develop your clicks and you have the startings of your just it's like a little more in depth than elementary school but more generalized than high school because you just have your popular girls popular boys and then pretty much just geeks and stuff and even in then, it's like you have your smart, popular people and your dumber, popular people, but still, you know, it's whatever. But there is still a middle of weirdness to where I still didn't like trends. And I also, you know, didn't get along with the boys because I was still, you know, a girl trying to play tag with all the boys, so they were trying to always one-up me just because I was apparently outside of my group. You know what I was? It's cool. I had my own little group of friends. I had like four friends. Yeah. That should be. That should do it. <laughs> but then I found my own clique. And I was talking about clubs. I was in band. Yep. That's when it started. I actually, I actually started playing the flute in fifth grade, but we didn't really have a band until in middle school. So in middle school, I really found my home in band and music because, you know, that's how I grew up. My dad was in a band. Not a huge band, you wouldn't know it. And, and um, you know, just really generally into music and stuff like that, and I could play the flute like a mofo. Still can. Booyah! But yeah, so that's where I found my thing. And I actually made more friends because of it. Because I also found the 
Manga nerds, yes. You could say I'm your all-around nerd. Not a geek, though. Not a geek. You guys are cool, too, though. So, after, after middle school, it goes to high school. And yes, it gets a lot more mean. You have to really step it up on your game. Because status is pretty much everything in high school. Unless you don't care. But then again, you're that status. You're part of the not caring people. That's still part of the whole group. So you're actually contributing. Yep, it's true. Sorry to say. But you're contributing to the society by not being a part of it. Because <laughs> they categorize you anyway as, like, losers or geeks, uh, nerds, um, losers. Any of the, anything that doesn't sound nice, pretty much. I am a proud nerd. So are my friends. Group of nerds. <laughs> but yeah, it's, um, definitely, definitely the balance of power shifts between popular and unpopular. And honestly, it's really all overrated. Like, but that's when you're out of high school because you're just trying to fit in. Fitting in is tough. In high school, I'm not going to give anybody lectures about, you know, fitting in, what should happen if you start getting bullied. I mean, um, those are topics that are very controversial in every single different school and every single different situation, so I'm not going to tell you what you should do because that's you. But yeah, so there are actually so many branches and some reviews, and, but still different because of the clubs you're in. Because, like, okay, so you know how you have your cheerleaders, your jocks, you know, stuff like that? Well, okay, let's say you have, like, the football players and the baseball players. Totally different, right? Yes. And so, and then you have, like, your nerds, geeks, and stuff like that. Well, that's the big picture. Other stuff, like... Like, even band has, like, a thing. Like, it was really weird. Because we have our guard girls, the cheerleaders. Band kids, the nerds. And percussionists, the jocks. I know, it's weird. They're one step below the generalization. But it makes sense. Because you still have your gossip and all of, like, the interests and styles and cool and uncool right in that little triad as well. But yeah, um, yeah, I didn't have it tough in that aspect, except for when the band clashed with the guard, because, you know, thinking that they're cool, they have to rag on the rest of us. So, you know, we always ragged back, and that was always fun. But yeah, it was petty at times, though, and, yeah. We can get over that because, you know, once senior, once uh, freshman turns to sophomore, sophomore turns to junior, junior, and finally turns to senior, you start letting it go. And, you know, you start letting it go and you move into college, you graduate. Woohoo! Graduation! Which it actually is near a lot of graduations. It's 5 16. It's May 16th. Yes. And so in June coming up, or May in some states, um, you know, <laughs> you're going to graduate. Huzzah, hurrah. Good for you. And you're going to either move on to college or work or taking a year off, studying abroad, anything. You know, everybody wants a year off after, what, 12 years of, no, 13 if you include preschool. <laughs> 13 years of school people and yet I was crazy enough to go to jump right back into it for another six years happy for me so back to status in in college post high school pretty much nothing that I've talked about matters status out the window you know you just have friend groups and whatnot. I mean, like, pretty much the battle's over, the dust settles, and you're left with just your future, career, friends, and that you don't need to prove anything to 
as well as anybody. I mean, you're your own person now. You have your individualized self. And yes, I'm wearing a cowboy hat. It was one of my birthday presents. I recently turned 19. Last Wednesday. So, that's why you didn't hear from me then. The other times, I just didn't realize it was Wednesday. I'm really sorry. Finals and everything and whatnot, yeah. So, and that's probably the 19th time I've said so. So, 20! But yeah, um, that's all I have to say. I mean, I'm happy. I have, like, I actually have different, you know, friend groups. Ones that are at college, ones that I've met from my work ones that I've met through my boyfriend and you know if they're really good friends they can all come on your birthday party and party like it's hot all together in a big old group because that's what friends are for ma cheesy so this is little woman 21 talking about life and whatnot status and you have a good night bye